Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will do a in-depth Cloudways versus Kinsta comparison reviews. So if you are a blogger or if you want to create a website or if you have a business and you want to create a website or blog for the business, then uh, you might have heard uh, Cloudways and Kinsta and if you are confused between them that which one is best for you then this video is going to be helpful for you. So overall these two hosting providers are looks pretty much similar but a few minute things are there that you need to know before you select uh, one of them and uh, in this video we will discuss about them. Now before proceeding further let me tell you both of these hosting provider offers free trial period. So you can check the link in the description and you can uh, join them and you can try their services for uh, free for some times and if you feel that uh, their services is best for you then then you can upgrade and uh, during that period no money will be charged from you they will charge money only if you use their services so first difference let's discuss uh, that is what is the services they offer so basically they offer you managed WordPress hosting solutions. So WordPress is basically a CMS systems and using that you can create attractive websites within a few clicks. You don't have to have a knowledge of uh, coding or uh, web development. So they offers hosting solution based on WordPress. Now the second basic difference between them is that uh, the cloud hosting providers that they use. So basically they do not have their own infrastructure or they do not have their own data centers. They use the infrastructure of cloud hosting providers like uh, Google Cloud and AWS. Now the basic difference between Kinsta and Cloudways when talking about uh, cloud hosting providers is that uh, Cloudways gives you a lot of flexibility in choosing your own cloud hosting provider but Kinsta does not have that option. What it means is that uh, when you choose Cloudways you have the option to choose which backend cloud hosting providers you want to be for your websites. So you can choose DigitalOcean, Linode, Vulture, AWS and Google Cloud but Kinsta is entirely using Google Cloud. So you like it or not your websites will be hosted on Google Cloud infrastructure. Now I'm not saying these any of these cloud hosting providers are bad or Google Cloud is bad. In fact Google Cloud and AWS are the best cloud hosting providers in this current era. It's just that uh, you will get options in Cloudways but you do not have any options in Kinsta. Now based on the cloud hosting providers you choose the price is going to differ here. Now if we do a head to head comparison of price between Kinsta and Cloudways then we have to consider the cloud Google Cloud price. So in case of Cloudways you get $33.63 per month but Kinsta offers you that in $30 per month. Now Cloudways is again flexible in case of price because you have the option to choose monthly and hourly. Now if you choose hourly then you can see the price will be charged per hour. So if you use their services for 24 hours then uh, you will have to pay 24 into 0 0.0452 dollar. Now in case of Kinsta you don't have that option because they don't have any uh, hourly plans. They only have uh, monthly and yearly. Now in Kinsta you get a benefit of uh, two months free subscription if you are choosing yearly but in monthly you don't have the option on that. Now in terms of price I believe Cloudways is better because of uh, the flexibility that they offer. Now you may be thinking that uh, what about the money back guarantee. So Cloudways do not have the money back guarantee maybe because of the flexibility that they're giving between the monthly and hourly but Kinsta have uh, 30 days of uh, money back guarantee within 30 days any service you choose from them they will be happy to return your money within 30 days but uh, post 30 days they don't have any offer for that. Now in terms of uh, price if you ask me then I would like to go with uh, Cloudways but once again Kinsta is not a bad hosting 
to check on now for some reasons if you don't want uh, google cloud then uh, you always go with cloudways because uh, they have uh, other cloud hosting providers and uh, your websites is going to be hosted on that for example digitalocean digitalocean is once again a very popular uh, hosting providers and uh, their price is also a little bit uh, less in comparison to any other cloud hosting providers so if you are a beginner and if you have a low amount of budget then definitely you can go with cloudways and you can choose the cloud hosting providers such as uh, linode vulture and uh, AWS is again it's pretty much similar to Google Cloud so definitely the price will be a little bit high now both of these hosting providers some demerits are there is that they do not provide any free domain but that should not be an issue because uh, you can get a very cheap domain from uh, Namecheap I will put a link in the description as well and then you can uh, point your domain to a these cloud hosting providers so now in terms of performance again it's solely depends upon the plan you choose because in cloudways as you can see they have different plans and based on the plans they have the ram pcpu bandwidth and all so the more price you give the more performance you get similarly in kinsta as well it's the same they have a lot of uh, plans so the based on the price that you pay you have the options to get better performance and uh, the number of websites you can install more that's all for this video hope this video helps you to decide which one is better for your cloudways or uh, kinsta in my personal opinion i will go with uh, cloudways because uh, they offer more flexibility in choosing the backend cloud hosting providers and uh, in terms of price also i get flexibility on choosing monthly and hourly thanks for watching this video don't uh, forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notification about uh, such videos in future